In this video, we will explore how product creators can make the most of ChatGPT. I will use this tool to create assets for the new website, a landing page for a robot vacuum cleaner. It will be nine practical tasks in total. First task, writing product briefs. A product brief outlines key product information that a product team uses to build a new product. In our case, a good product brief will help us create a solid website ChatGPT can write pretty good briefs, but when you compare the generated brief to the actual briefs used in product design, you can see that it doesn't provide the essential details required for product designers. For example, information about the target audience is very limited. Second task, writing copy for product pages. Product designers are notoriously known for using dummy text instead of real text. When we design with warm ipsum, we often need to adjust layouts when we replace dummy text with the actual copy. ChatGPT makes it easier to create a realistic copy. All you need to do is write a prompt that represents your product type and let the ChatGPT do the magic. For example, here you can see how the tool can handle writing a copy for the landing page. Third task, writing error messages. Small things like error and success messages can have a huge impact on user experience. ChatGPT can be used not only for large text blocks such as product descriptions but also for microcopy. Next task, writing marketing copy. Skilled marketing writers can write copy that can persuade potential customers to try out the product. But can ChatGPT do the same? When I submitted the prompt explain why people should buy our robot vacuum cleaner, ChatGPT generated a list of points with the benefits that this device offers. There are a few problems with this list. First, it's too long. Second, it's a bit dull. Third, it repeats what was already mentioned in the product description. Next task, visual design ideation. Visual exploration is not something that you expect from a text-based tool. You might say that it's better to do the exploration in tools like Midjourney. But I wanted to know how ChatGPT can handle prompts like find a good color scheme. The tool provided a few recommendations on color selection without specific details, such as actual HEX colors. I think the output can be a good starting point for visual designers and give them strong arguments regarding the colors they want to use. Next task, writing code for product pages. What if you want to create a coded prototype of a web page? Most of the time, you either rely on ready-to-use templates or create something from scratch using one of the popular web frameworks like Vue. But can ChatGPT help us with that? When I asked the tool to write code for a responsive landing page, the tool created a very simple responsive web, it provided both HTML and CSS source code. Unfortunately, this code doesn't look like something we can use in a real project because it creates a very basic page. Next task, writing code for small elements on the page. You may assume that ChatGPT is bad at writing code, but it's not true. In fact, there are a few cases when ChatGPT can show impressive results. For example, I've asked ChatGPT to generate a code for the rotating cube that I could use for the website. It generated a code in less than a minute, along with a text description. Next task, translating text from one language to another. Let's assume that the website we create will be available in two languages. 
English and Spanish. It means that we need to translate our English copy into Spanish. GPT is a large language model, and language translation was likely one of the first practical tasks that it was used for. So it's easy to assume that the tool can easily translate text on the page from one language to another. Surprisingly, the translation result was average. The translated copy sounds a bit rough and robotic. Google Translate was able to handle this task much better than ChatGPT. Last task, writing a usability script. Let's ask the system to write a script we can use to test our landing page. The system creates a very good script that we can use in our work. My general impression of using ChatGPT is positive. The tool can be very useful, especially during the early stages of the product design process when the team needs to move fast and explore various design ideas. ChatGPT can help the team to save time by generating text copy and code. But the output that ChatGPT provides is far from the final so it can be used only as a starting point for the designer's work.